The moment James Hart has been waiting for is finally here. After calling Daryl Morey a liar for messing with his money and saying he would never play another game for the Sixers, the beard got his wish and got traded to the Clippers. And the Clippers get Harden, P.J. Tucker, and Philippe Pet Petrus. I don't even know who that nigga is. But Good idea right there. And the Sixers get Marcus Morris, Nick Batum, Robert Covington, unfortunately, K.J. Martin. So, Kenya, we got you here on this couch. We had to, you know, send a bad signal out after the news got broke. When did you find out that K.J. was in the Harden deal? Before everybody did, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> it was one of them calls. I, I, I literally just dozed off, and my phone rang, and it was his agent. Listen, um, I heard something in his voice. I'm like, yo, what's up? And, and yeah, so just unfortunate. Um, Short-lived time here, but on the better things, man. So you, you got to understand the business part of it, which unfortunately he has to learn it right now. I'm saying he was excited about being home and being in the situation he was in, but best thing happened to him. Yeah, you know. So no, he gonna we alright, man. He a hooper, so he gonna he going out there in a good situation, man. So no, it's as a family, we uh, I'm saying of course, yeah. Like, that's that's. Uh, it's a little disheartening as a family, but we are a basketball family, and we we understand that it is a business. So, um, no, it's it's on that regard, it's hit home like tough. But yeah. but to be able to comfort him in his moment when he was, I'm saying just like why, but it's a good thing for him. It's a good thing basketball wise. I think I'm going into a situation where he can get more minutes than he was getting the first three games of the season. Mm -hmm. And how hard is it though as a father? Like you said, KJ back home, you got him close by. You're able to pull up, you know, the games and really be able to support him. How hard is it as a father to see your son traded? Oh no, it's, it, no, it's you, because I never dealt with it as a player for one. Besides, it was, it was about the money, but not three games into the season or yeah. not, you know what I'm saying, no shit like this. No, but it's, after to wake your wife up and tell her this. You know what I'm yeah. Like, having to break this news to the little ones, they're excited when KJ come by. So it's it's that that people don't understand. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to put into words without being emotional about it. Yeah. No, but nah, it's that's a good thing, man. That's really a good thing. And I'm I'm excited for him, man. Yeah, no, man, we, you know. That's the thing, we, you know, we talk about these trades and things that go on the league, but you don't think about the impact that it has on players, families, yeah. whatever it may be. So, you know, I know you appreciate the time that you got oh, yeah. on the Clippers. Oh, and man, I'm I'm excited for him, man. It's just, place I have to break that news to the little ones. Mm -hmm. like, hey, there's a, there's like a bright light, that boy. bright light for him, though. It's a bright light for KJ. That was a tough clip to watch. It's not often that you get a behind the scenes look of a father being separated from his son because of a trade, but I think this was a complete mistake. And it's not for that reason. The Clippers are going to start James Harden and Russell Westbrook. We know this because they've traded away all of their forwards. KJ Martin was one of them. So they're going to play a small ball lineup. The Clippers are a team known for their defense. They have great two-way players in Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Russell Westbrook has stepped it up a lot this season, and they had players that can switch like Terrence Mann, Bowens Highland, and Nicholas Batum. James Harden does not fit into that. The Clippers are a team that loves to force turnovers, get out on the break, and find open shots. James Harden is a guy that likes to slow it down, play iso ball, and take a contested three. And James Harden has never been a good defender. I also think this trade will be detrimental to Russell Westbrook, who's played great basketball this season. If he's going to be the fourth option on this team and be in the starting lineup with all three of them, you're going to start seeing Russ go back to his Lakers form. He was playing with LeBron, AD, Melo. It was tough for him to find his rhythm, and as a result, he was out of control, and he took really bad shots. With James Harden in the lineup, either Russ or Harden is going to have to sacrifice more than they would like. Let's also not forget that both of them have led the league in turnovers. When they were in Houston, that wasn't a big deal because their talent made up for it, but on the Clippers, they're not getting the ball as much, and they're not as good as they once were. So they're turning over the ball, but they're not contributing enough to make up for it. And to drive home my point, the latest two super teams didn't work because of James Harden and Russell Westbrook. 
The Lakers didn't work because of Russ, and the Nets didn't work because of Harden, for very different reasons. But now you're putting them on the same team, and you expect it to work. The Clippers didn't need another ball handler or scorer. They already have Norman Powell, Westbrook, Paul George, Kawhi. The only reason they did it is because his price was so low. Even with that price, James Harden has flaws that can't be fixed, and one of them is underperforming in the playoffs. If Kawhi Leonard or Paul George go down, and that's a safe bet, James Harden won't be able to save them. If the Clippers' only expectations were to make the playoffs, then this would be a good trade. James Harden can take over when Kawhi Leonard or Paul George load manage and lead them to wins, and James Harden can get hot. But this team needs to win a championship. This experiment has failed, and James Harden is not the answer. But that's all I have for this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of James Harden being traded to the Clippers. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more NBA content just like this, and I will see you in the next upload.